Let's start with just moving around your spreadsheet. You can use arrow keys to move from cell to cell, but if you use control and an arrow key, you can jump to the end of your data or to the next set of data. Here we're gonna hit control down and jump to the end of the data, and then control right and go all the way to the right side, and then control up and control left, we'll go back to where we were. If you use control and shift at the same time, it will highlight the data. So here we're gonna do control shift right, and then we go back, and control shift down and then right, we'll highlight all the data. Next, we're gonna go from worksheet to worksheet. You'll use control page down to go to the next worksheet, page down. And to go to the previous worksheet, you'll do control page up. Formatting data is really easy with shortcuts. Highlight your data, hit control shift exclamation point for a number with two decimal places, control shift dollar sign for dollars, currency, and control shift percentage will give you a percent. Now let's talk about locking cells, one of the most important things in building your formulas. Here I have some data on a bunch of people and a total for everyone. If I wanna calculate the percent, I wanna take this person's total divided by everyone's total. But when I copy it down, I want this cell to lock on everyone's total in B17. So when I drag the formula down, the numerator moves, but the denominator doesn't. We need dollar signs for this. I need a dollar sign before the B to lock the column and a dollar sign before the 17 to lock the row. The trick is F4. If you hit F4, it'll lock that cell. So when you drag it down, you'll see that the numerator's moved, but the denominator is locked on B17. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.